I'm OBJ Cheese. So this is a spin-off from Who Moved My Cheese, right? Um, different author though. Um, so Deepak is a Harvard Business School guy and he um, didn't think this book presented all of the right angles <laughs> or enough enough different perspectives. So uh, he, he wrote another story that has different characters and different different perspectives and things and, and challenges some of the ideas that this book has. So um, it was also a pretty interesting and very easy read, um, but I'll just share you some of the discussion points that he or the points he makes in his book. Um, he says, you know, he's talking about a my some mice that like break out of the the maze or search for things the answers to things right in 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 who moved my cheesy basically says that basically uh hem spent so much time just wondering who moved his cheese but didn't take action to find out right and so then he's like i moved your cheese i, I know who moved the cheese and it's talking about some mice that actually do things differently than the others um, they're not just going to run the maze to find more cheese, but they're going to actually break out of the maze, right? So he says, uh, you're asking mice to do things they have never learned. You're asking them to question and to think, but they choose to accept things as given. You're asking them to find themselves, but they are busy finding cheese. You are asking them to run their lives, but they are busy running the maze. How many of us get caught up in the day-to-day -day activities that... Um, are not necessarily the most important, but they're kind of the most immediate um, or the demands of others. Uh, you do not want to get caught in that trap. Uh, define your life, define your goals, and then take specific action to make those goals come true, right? Um, another thing, there are also mice who hope that greatness is not achievable because this alone helps, their, helps justify their unquestioning ways. We all grew up in a culture, we all live it within a culture, and we're all judged by the standards of that culture. So if you're going to do something exceptional, something unique, something kind of out of the box, you're going to hear from those people. And it's not always positive, usually it's negative because you're judged by that standard, right? But eventually you'll find new company, new new friends and, and people who do support your goals and your dreams. I always tell people there's at least a million others out there in the world that are into whatever it is you're into. They're willing to connect with you on it, follow you in it, purchase your products, whatever. The difficult part is finding those million, right? Like um, eventually you'll catch you'll catch a break, you'll catch some you'll get some momentum and people will start sharing and you'll find groups, little groups and pockets throughout the world that that support it, but um, inevitably you're going to get pushback from others who think you're a little off, you're out there, they might think it's in your best interest to listen to their advice and whatever, but define your goals and dreams and then go for them and don't, don't be stopped by the people who, you know, think it's impossible or justify their mediocrity. So what essentially is the reason for your accomplishment? My decision, my resolve, my thought. Everything starts with a thought, right? Like, if you have a dream and a goal, it's what you're thinking of, right? And then you make the decision to take action, and then it's the action and the resolve to continue at it uh, day in and day out that will actually create the results you're looking for. And you wouldn't ha you wouldn't want it any other way. Like, you don't want things free. Uh, you don't want it to be easy. You want to think about it, plan it make the decision, take action, and keep pushing. And eventually you'll get what you're looking for. And that having had that battle in your history is what really makes things worth it and valuable. The maze was all he had ever known, but it was not all he could imagine. The decision was made. Like, if you can dream it up, you can make it happen. In fact, I'm currently reading The Art of Possibility, which is a really interesting book and basically they start the book out talking about like science is what we kind of 
determine as truth, but science is just the process of learning new truths. And so um, basically they use this phrase that says it's all invented. And so like, if it's all invented, you t tell your own story, like make your own story and then tell that as truth. And people are going to believe you or in, you know, the sense of like personal growth and development, like what's the story that you can tell yourself? What can you dream up? And then go for, right? Make it reality. Like making things reality in science is just discovering a new angle. Like they talk about like a frog can only, its vision only allows it to see certain things. Um, and at one point in the story, they say like, a frog is not even able to see the, the pink sunset, whereas a human can. So is the world different to a frog? Like, is does that change reality? No, it's just that the frog doesn't have that perspective or that knowledge, but we do. Well, what insights are we missing out on? So go find them, dream it up, and go, go accomplish it, right? Um, he says, personal reflection is the most important aspect of, of growth and learning which I could not agree with more. I speak of, I talk about this all the time, like self-discovery and self-assessment and like understanding your own personality, your own culture, your own habits, where things came from, like why do you think this way, feel this way when X, Y, Z happens? Like change, you know, can I change those thoughts and emotions? What would be, you know, Self-discovery is the most important aspect to growth. Like you need to know what you're good at, what you're not so good at, how you can change it, methods to change them, all right? Um, another group, oh, so he's an educator, by the way, Harvard Business, uh, Harvard Business School. He says, another group informs me, this is after the story, he's kind of in discussion, another group informs me that some of the biggest mistakes students make in their lives pertain to the majors they choose and the jobs they pursue. Um, that many of these choices reflect external pressures and expectations rather than a careful evaluation by the student of his or her own goals and passions. Exactly what I was talking about. Um, so anyway, provide some, some interesting perspectives. I moved your cheese. Uh, another quick, easy read, but it's got some good insights, things to help you to reflect. So I'll put a link um, in the description you can purchase from Amazon if you'd like. Head over to the website, bronsonworks.com, and find out you know other, other book reviews and um, success strategies. Also subscribe to this channel for new book reviews. Adios.